okay so now that we are done with um, the um, <laughs> the statement of comprehensive income let's see if we can do the next two questions which is the capital account as well as the current account um, the last question you will have to do it on your own okay so here we have to complete what the capital account as well as the current account right so we are given the amount of the capitals in the beginning remember there's two people in the business which is Josie and Jay and the accounting period of this business as they have stated is like it ends on the 28th of February 2020 and based on the previous question that we were dealing with we were able to come up with our timeline here which was um, basically saying it starts on the it starts on the um, 28th of February and then it ends on the okay let me just see if I can just uh, draw some lines here in different colors obviously Okay, okay, it's, it seems possible, okay. So we are saying this is the year end. So this is the year end, right? And then this is what the beginning of the accounting period so it starts on the 1st of March 2019 and then it ends on the 28th of February 2020 so obviously the other things that I've put in there was like while we were doing the other calculations for other transactions but in this instance we're focusing on like the 1st of March 2019 until the 28th of February 2020 okay so now that is out of the way let's put in the amount in the capital account so we have um, the openings so the openings are on the 1st of March 2019 which is 240 for Josie and 360 for Jay so this is the capital account so Josie opens the books at the beginning of the year with 240,000 okay and then Jay opens his okay their books <laughs> I want to use like um, it's better to stick with their pronouns Okay, so if you add this two together, you are getting, I am getting 600,000. So this is what they're opening uh, the year with um, in terms of like what they've contributed into the business. Okay, so now we need to find additional information. Did any one of them increase their contribution or decrease their contribution? Okay, so for us to find that one out, it should be in the additional information. So here we're told what transactions relevant to the partners. So this is additional information. And what are they saying here? So here they're saying, uh, okay, I'm just going to look for anything that has to do with additions in terms of like capital contribution. Oh, I'm seeing something in number four. Number four, they're saying, okay, let me highlight that. So number four here, it has to do with increase in contribution. Okay, so here they're saying interest on capital is calculated at 8% of the capital balances. Okay, and then they're saying on the 1st of June 2019, Josie increased her capital by 40,000 and Jay decreased his capital by 10,000. This changes has not been taken into account. Okay, key things to note here in this, um, uh, what is it? In this statement is that they're saying uh, the increase happened on the 1st of June, 2019, right? And then they're saying the capital uh, interest on capital is 8%. Right, so it means that as soon as we start calculating interest on capital, we'll use 8% and also take into consideration that there were movements that happened during the year, such as Josie increasing their capital by 40,000 and Jay decreasing their capital by at 10,000 rand. Right, so the month will be applicable. Okay, so let me see if we can take the month into consideration. So if they're saying there was an increase in capital contribution, so we're assuming the capital contribution should have increased somewhere here, 
Okay, I think that's a bit far. It increased maybe somewhere here in 2019, as they stated, and this was on the the first of June 2019. So obviously, the first question that I'm going to ask you is that how many months is uh, from March? um first of march 2019 until first of june 2019 so you'll start counting using your fingers you'll say a uh, march april may we're not counting june because june is on the first of june so that's how many months three months before before changes so we're saying three months before changes okay so this means that changes have been in the business for the last nine months so nine months with changes if you add those months together obviously you get a 12 months if you say three plus nine you get 12 months so the first three months there were no changes changes happened on the first of june 2019 which means that from the first of june 2019 until the end of the period which was the 28th of february 2020 there was like additional increases or decreases so we know that um josie's capital increased by 10 by by forty thousand. so we'll say what 40,000 here and then we know that J actually did what decrease their capital by 10,000 so we have to do the same so obviously the totals you bring this here and then you do the same here you bring it to the total side and then if you substitute this two you will get 630,000 which means that if you substitute this two again, you will probably get 350,000. And then here on this one, you add this two together, you get 280,000. Okay, so now I, I know we are not given the space here to start doing the interest on capital calculation, but I'll advise you, if you have the time, do the interest on capital um, together with the capital account to make things easier as you have to do the current account okay so we have we'll start with Josie so Josie there are two amounts that we have to work the interest on capital on okay the first amount we will have to calculate on the 240,000 and then the second um, amount we have to calculate it on the 280,000 remember we say that um, um, they say that it's 8% per annum right and then we agreed there on our timeline the one that we're working that there was three months before changes and then there were nine months with changes right so we will use this month the first one will apply the three months and then the second one will apply the nine months Okay, so here we're saying, in the beginning, um, Josie had 240000 as you can see here, uh, the balance in the beginning, 240000 and that balance was the same for three months in the business, right? Okay, however, after the three months, the balance changed. It was no longer 240000 but it was now how much? It was now... Um, 280,000 so we'll say the next one then you say 9 multiplied by yeah 9 divided by 12 yeah so these are the amounts that we have that we have to work out uh, for Josie you pause the video you calculate and then resume the video okay so on the first one I am getting 4,800 Okay. And then on the second one, I am getting 16,800. Okay, so that's uh, clear. So obviously, you then have to add these two together to get like the, the amount in total that J is um, going to get um, in terms of the interest on capital that they're going to be earning in the business. So now we are done with J. Let's move on to 
sorry we're now done with Josie let's move on to Jay so Jay we are doing the same for Jay so the first three months in the business Jay's capital was six hundred uh three hundred and sixty thousand and it did not change until after three months in the year right so it changed now and it meant that it was no longer three hundred and sixty thousand but it became three hundred and fifty thousand which technically we are saying they reduced their capital by ten thousand rent okay so we're saying nine divided by twelve Okay, you pause the video, you work it out. Okay, the first one I am getting 7,200. And then the second one I am getting 21,000. And then you add them together and you should be able to get, let me see. You should be able to get 28,200. Okay, and that's just like this, you've killed two beds with one stone. So let's just now move along the way and put in those amounts there in this one. So here I'm assuming there should be interest on capital somewhere here. So I'll put in interest on capital and then put in the amounts there. So I know that Josie interest on capital is 21,600. So I'll put in 21,600. And then I know that J is going to get um, 28,200. Add these two together and get the total. If I'm adding 21,600 and like 200, I am getting... Pause the video, calculate yourself. Okay, I am getting 49,800. So just like this, I have already like gotten so many marks. You get it? The eight full marks here, I have it. And then I don't know how many marks here, but I've already got like the marks here as well. You get it? And I have shown what my calculations, which examiners always take priority on. Very important to make sure that your workings are shown. 